Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 558 and the topic today is swipe right on you, your first choice. And I'll explain that and you probably already feel out where I'm going to go, but I'm going to break it down anyway. But before I get to that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am in case you haven't seen my broadcast before and where I come from and in my messaging that is. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women, high achieving women, create balance in their love, their life and their business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I do what I do. Um, and every day now for, actually it's been over two years when I started, but now it's every day. I do these talks on Facebook Live initially, then onto YouTube, and I'll tell you about those links later on, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And these talks generally are for women, but a lot of times they're including men, and sometimes they're generic. And this one is a generic one, which I'd say includes both men and women, because if you're a dating app user, swiping right is for both men and women, and uh, not always the most... Um, balanced expression. I was going to go down a different path, but I'll hold off on that one. Well, I may talk about that one too. So, the reason my title is Swipe Right on You, Your First Choice, is because so many people, not you of course, many people out there, and the same people because it's men and women, are coming from a place of wanting someone to make them feel good. They're not feeling okay with who they are, they're not loving who they are, because they think that what they have to do is find someone else to do that for them, and then they'll be very happy. So they're swiping right on a possible fulfillment for themselves to make themselves feel better. And again, not you, but people you might know. There are people out there who are caught up in this um, hunger, so to speak, or certainly this need to get something to make them feel better, which is, as I've talked about before, a very codependent approach. And in my messaging, certainly for the last couple of years, I've made it very clear that codependence is one of my least favorite topics, at least least favorite experiences. It's a favorite topic to talk about because I'm very much about stamping it out once and for all, like a disease. Um, and so the whole point of going on these apps to find someone to make you feel okay is usually implied because, no, let me say that again, because I just said about you. I'm not implying you, other people. People go onto these apps, swiping right to feel, find someone to fill them, make them feel okay, because the, the implication is, and the truth is, without having somebody else in their lives, they don't feel okay. And for people out there in the world who don't feel okay, women especially who are so successful and dynamic and successful and, and busy, they don't find time for a relationship. Sometimes they feel hollow inside because they're not feeling fulfilled because they're so busy doing, 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 being driven to go out there, they're not feeling fulfilled inside and they're not feeling whole either. And so what happens is they're driven to go on the dating apps and swiping, 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 hoping to meet somebody else that will make them feel better. And that is a really poor approach, approach to what you want. Again, as I talk about my broadcast, and if you're watching my broadcast, you know I do, um, <laughs> I do, um, I want to say, um, berate you about this. I do, I do make this point a lot, which is you've got to love yourself first. The whole thing about dating apps are really to give you things to look for and look at that ideally you look for and look at after you've already found love inside yourself. And for most people, Again, the wiring is set up because of the way that we're all programmed, that love exists out there, not inside of us. And so the temptation is to think that, well, I feel better because when somebody else loves me, I'll feel loved. Well, that may be true, but it's an errant approach because if you're in that, if there's people in that situation, I'm really trying to avoid the word you all the time because I don't want to accuse you of anything because you're doing fine. I'm sure you are. But other people you might know might be dealing with this. And so I, want, I would love to have you refer them to me. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So people who are caught up in the paradigm of looking for love out there, looking for love in all the wrong places, so to speak, as the song title was, are putting themselves in a position where they are hoping for somebody else to save them by loving them, to make them feel good, to make them feel whole. And that is really a um, example of what codependent behavior is, which is really putting yourself in a place of being at the mercy of somebody else's whim. Because if they don't like you, or they don't love you, you will feel less than, if, or they will feel, that person will feel less than if they're not feeling loved. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm rewriting my script as I'm saying it, so apologies for putting it on you, because I know you take care of yourself and you love yourself. But for those people who don't, they are caught up in this paradigm where 
they're always looking for love in the wrong places, looking for love out there, looking for love to come to them because they don't feel it inside. And that puts them in a place of being a victim. As I said, you put it at the mercy of somebody else means that you're a victim of them because meaning literally that if you don't get the love you want from, sorry, if they don't get the love they want from this other person, I've really trained myself to say you a lot, so I'm rewiring that one. Thanks to my friend who gave me some feedback on that. Those people who are always looking for love out there because they don't feel it inside are continually caught in the paradigm of being a victim to what everybody else does because they're not feeling whole unless someone loves them, which means if the other person doesn't love them, they don't feel whole. And that is a victim approach to life. Now, I know you don't do this, but you may know people who do. This trap that they fall into, and is a trap, is often one that, we've, that has been learned in childhood, learned from parents, learned from adults around us, because I went through it as well, that love wasn't something that was self-sufficient. We didn't carry it inside. It was something from out there that, that romance, and because and, also, also all the movies and songs talks about this, that romance comes to us from outside. And so for those people who are trained that way because the culture provides that um, default training, there's a continual and a perpetual um, persistent imprinting of needing to look outside for the love that really is existing inside. So when I said in the title about swipe right on you, the, best, the, the first choice or your first choice, is to really let people know who are watching this, who feel this, that really the focus should first be on loving ourselves first. When we fill up our own tanks, then we can go out in the world and meet people, but be a lot less attached to them liking us, like having to make that happen. We basically enjoy the connection, and if there's someone that we feel very drawn to, we're like, oh, this could be fun. But we're not going, it's got to be the one, if not, I'm in trouble, because that's the wiring that is limiting. That, that dread, <laughs> if I want to remember a word, or that... Um, that drive that must find some person to love me is an absolutely self-defeating and self-victimizing approach to love, period. And the key is, is that we can all start with loving ourselves more than we already do. And self-love, as simple as it sounds, and I, post, I posted a, a video on, on my wall this morning, or on Facebook this morning, that was a great um, it was spoken word well, it did, it did rhyme, so I guess it's a spoken word. Um, great message about the relationship starts inside and self-love is a way to get love out there. So I, make, I invite you to go watch that. Someone want I might have a link again if I can find it. On my, um, oops, sorry, bumping the microphone. Um, but I also reminded people who are interested that actually because of this missing piece that so many people are dealing with, again, not you, but people you might know, I created a self-love practice, a guided meditation that has within it um, a workbook plus an AM and PM guided meditations to lead people through the practice of self-love in a very simple, time-efficient, and elegant way so that their lives will transform within 30 days. So if you know anybody who's looking for that, please refer them to the link that I'll put in the comments afterwards so they can just get it themselves because self-love is something that we could all do more of. I include myself in that. That's why I practice as well. So before you go on the dating, before they, before your friends go on the dating apps, you <laughs> keep switching that language in. and s keep starting swiping right. Suggest to them, remind them, love them to remind, love them enough to say, "How about you start by loving yourself?" Tell them they need to support themselves, or should say, invite them to love themselves first. And I know you know who I'm talking about. There are many people out there who are bouncing from relationship to relationship, never feeling fulfilled. And so those people, the people who would need my, need this help. So if you know anybody like that, please refer them to me. And absolutely feel free to share this message out on your wall to other places because so many people are caught up in the paradigm of looking for love out there before they look for love inside. And for any relationship to work effectively, fulfilling and successfully, it's got to start within. Because the thing about it is, how would it feel, you think, to be in a relationship with somebody where one person is always providing the love, the other person is always receiving it, but they're not giving it back. And so if somebody is looking for love out there, not taking it from inside, they're in this trap, they're in this paradigm where they're absolutely continually hungry for love to fill them up. And you wouldn't be with someone like that, would you? I don't think so. 
So please refer those people to me and, and to, particularly to the program, or to, excuse me, to the practice I'll be putting the link to in the comments, which is the self love practice. Self love really is a simple, powerful, profound tool. Hi, Amanda. Nice to see you in my broadcast. Um, and it's really effective because it transforms people's lives. So again, please prefer to share this out with people you know, friend, friends. It's the practice is not for women only, it's for men and women, so anybody can use it and benefit from it. So I invite you to share it with those people who might need it. Um, again, this is my Facebook Live, it goes onto YouTube and my podcast. And before I get to that, homework, I have to give homework. Um, since this is my daily invitation to go deeper, my homework for anybody watching this is to practice self-love more. Whether it's using my program or not, it's something so simple as taking the time to look in your own eyes in the mirror and connecting and saying, I love you. Put your hands over your heart when you're out in the world and remember to love yourself. When you're going to the gym or you're eating certain foods, choose to do things in a healthy way that support you in being more loving. There's so much you can do. Everybody can do. And people you know can do that too. So again, replays. Um, I think I basically exhausted that topic clearly enough, given that you got the point. <laughs> um, this is my Facebook Live that goes out every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. It goes onto my business page after it's, play, after it's uh, broadcast, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. My personal page is Barry Selby without the author on the end. And all my social media is Barry Selby. So YouTube, which is where my um, broadcasts go after this, is also Barry Selby's the channel. You can subscribe to that, please. And inside that is a playlist, which is messages, messages from the Masculine, where all these broadcasts will live. You can watch those all there if you wish. If you're a YouTube viewer, you might be watching it there now, in which case, go ahead. Um, any comments, questions you put in the after the broadcast, I'll sign off. After I sign off, I'll respond. Did I put in the right order? Let me say it again. Any comments, questions you may have, please put in the comments afterwards below, and I will, I'll respond to them typing after I sign off. That's what I'm trying to say on Facebook or YouTube. And also, I'm putting these on my podcast. I have a podcast that's growing called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that as well. And you can download the audios and listen to them when you're driving, cycling, exercising, whatever you're doing. We can't look at the screen. And that, I think, is that. Again, I put the links in, I'll put a link in the comments for my self love practice because it will help those of you, those you know who need help. And uh, I'll be back in tomorrow. Usual time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, same channel right here. And I wish you well. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.